Hey you guys, what's up? I thought I would do another chit chat, get ready with me today. I was laying in bed and I was just like, wow, there's a lot of things I feel like I need to talk to you guys about. So that's what today's video is gonna be. Now let's get into it. I'm gonna try to talk about the products, but we'll see how it goes. I'm starting with my Tarte Poreless Primer. This is good to fill in all y'all pose. But yeah, I'm getting ready today. I know, I'm getting ready for something. I'm going somewhere. Oh my God, who is she? I'm going to be eating dinner at Matt's Realtor's house. So I didn't tell you guys, but Matt, my boyfriend, was looking for a house. He's been renting an apartment near my house. It's like two miles away, but he's been renting it and he was just over it of sending money down the drain. So we were looking at a house for him. I'm a baby, so I'm never gonna move out of my house. Um, and we love his realtor and he invited us to his house to get dinner. So we're going there tonight and that's what I'm getting ready for. But <laughs> to confuse you even more, Matt is no longer going to be buying a house. We told the realtor that he wasn't gonna be buying a house anymore and he still invited us over for dinner. Hopefully it's not a plan to punish us for not buying a house. Just kidding. I'm putting on the Pretty Fresh like tinted moisturizer from ColourPop. It doesn't really provide like any coverage. I mean, a little bit. Enough to make me look a little bit more even and for the rest of my makeup to stick on my face a little bit better, which is why I'm applying this. I just, you know, dot it all over my face. But yeah, you'll see. It doesn't really do much of anything. So if you had, if you wanted a lot of coverage, I mean, I wouldn't recommend this, <laughs> but for just like a little bit of skin color correcting, yeah, go for it. And then, actually, you know what? I wanna be a little bit more glowy today. I should have put this, I usually put this underneath, but this is from Becca. It's the Shimmering Skin Perfector. I'm gonna put that on top, just in the high points, so I have extra glow. We're going to Atlanta today, and I don't live in Atlanta. If you're new to my channel, hi. I live in Georgia with my, I live with my parents. I live in the suburbs, so I don't live in Atlanta. So we're going to the ATL shoddy tonight, which is really exciting. I miss Atlanta. Also, if you're new to your channel, hi, I went to Georgia Tech. I was a chemical engineer. I guess I am. I got my degree. <laughs> so I love the city. It's where I lived for four years of my life, and I would love to live there again. But also, that's a lot of money, and I save a lot living at home. So this, I know I keep interrupting myself. This is the Becca Brightening corrector. I did a video on it. I love this. As you can tell, I have uh, really dark circles under my eyes and this helps with that. What really inspired me to make this get ready with me is Jessica Howell, Jessica Stock still now, and her husband are pregnant. And if you don't know who I'm knowing talking about, she's like a vlogger. She's my age. Well, she turns 26 next or this month. It's December and I'm 25. I turned 25 in October. So she's like 10 months older than me. But her and her husband who got married in June are having a baby, which is so exciting. That's going to be like the most perfect looking child ever. I mean, besides my niece, Josephine. But anyways, but it got me thinking. I'm like, oh my God, it's amazing how people my age are having babies. And if I, like, it seems illegal to me for me to have a child right now. Like, I feel like I'm still 12 years old. The thought of me having a child right now is so beyond disturbing. It's like blasphemy. <laughs> I don't understand. And when people my age have children, I go to my parents. I'm like, is this normal for people my age to be having children? Like, it seems to me like this should be illegal. Like, if me personally, if I had a child, and my parents are like, uh, we were married with uh, one of you by the time we were 25. So uh, not that not that strange. I would say it's a normal time to be doing those things. <laughs> or, you know, it's not abnormal to be having children at 25. And it's just like, what is wrong with me? I feel like that, me having children is so, it's worlds away for me right now. That would be... <laughs> I can barely work a microwave, so that would be something. So I don't know. I just, I, I guess I wanted to talk about it online to you guys and let me know in the comments if you're my age, if you're around my age, what is your thought on you personally having a kid right now? Does it seem like something that's in the realm of possibilities? Does it seem like something you want? Do you want to have kids early? Am I just strange because I feel like I'm mentally 12? So I don't know if that just says something about me as a person, but what it does say is everyone's just on really different trajectories in their life. We all have different paths and it's hard sometimes to not compare yourself to other people and be like, wow, should I be married? Should I have a child right now? But you just need to remember that everyone lives a different life. I think maybe when I'm like 30, late 20s, I hope I'll feel better about it because I do want to have kids. But just right now, 
illegal. So I'm just going to put this over my pomples. Also, I've been using Zio skincare. It's medical grade for the last like six months, maybe five months. And I'm gonna be putting up an update video, like what's happened with my skin since I started it. I think next week I'm gonna be doing a skincare routine video because I've never put up one that's like my skincare routine in its entirety. So I thought that would be a good video to put up. I'm going to set this with my hourglass powder in this new Real Techniques brush I got. So I set my face and now the fun begins. I'm gonna use my butter bronzer. This is almost empty. I already got a new one like the only bronzer I use. On another note, if you hate the background in my videos when I do these get ready's with me, we're on the same page, I hate it as well. And fear no more, worry no more, I'm going to be moving, I'm moving. I'm moving out of this bedroom, very far away. I'm moving into the basement soon. <laughs> in true millennial fashion, I'm moving into my parents' basement. And the background to my videos will be much better. It will have white walls, be a lot more fresh. So get excited for that. But Matt is moving into the basement with me, which is why he is not getting a house anymore because he's gonna save a lot of money living in the basement with me. So lots of exciting things are coming on this channel. Make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna do a bunch of videos when I'm moving in, like decorating videos. It's furnished. I'm definitely going to need to add some touches to it to make it feel more homey. So that's exciting. Now I'm just going to use my favorite blush, the only br blush I ever used. It's from Hourglass. It was last year's holiday collection or palette. Highly recommend. They have another one this year, but I'm not getting it because I still have like the whole thing left from last year. So we're just gonna put this on. I love it. It's like very glowy. It looks like as natural as a powder blush can look. I'm gonna try to get more into cream like bronzers and br blushes just to see if I like that. Cause you know, Samantha Ravindal, queen, who is also pregnant, everyone's pregnant, loves creams and therefore I should love creams. <laughs> and then for my eye look, I'm gonna be using my favorite palette. I talked about it in my Sephora haul. It is this Natasha Denona palette. It's the very miniature palette. Love it. I'm probably gonna use a shade cause it's my favorite one to use. I'm just gonna do a very easy eye look. I cannot believe it is December 3rd. Are you kidding me? I feel like it's still March in my mind. This year has just been so crazy, but I feel like honestly, every year goes by so fast, which is kind of sad to me. Am I the only one who gets emotional on my birthday at the end of the year because of how fast time goes? Because it truly amazes me, but I can't believe it's December. And if you're like me, Christmas started November 1st. So we're a month in to Christmas and we're almost at the finish line. Also on the same note, so Christmas starts December 1st or November 1st. Fall starts August 1st. So, you know, we really just gotta treasure the fun times, okay? Cause fall and winter are the best times ever. That's why I lengthen them severely. Just gotta enjoy the lead up to it. Honestly, the lead up to like fall and the leaves changing and the lead up to Christmas are almost better than the real thing. I mean, okay, I'm no Scrooge, I love Christmas, but I would say the lead up is half the fun. Here is that color, I love it. It's like my favorite shimmer shade at the moment. So I just put that on my whole lid. So I just line my eyes with the dark shade in this palette. There's a little bit of fallout, kind of annoying, but what you gonna do? So maybe I'm behind, but I just started watching Virgin River on Netflix and I love it. If you, like cozy vibes, I recommend that show. I don't know why, it just makes me feel so cozy. It's not a holiday show. It's just based in like Northern California and it's like super small town vibes. It makes me feel like I'm there with them and like living is just easy, okay? Even though it's a drama, I'm not making any sense, but Virgin River is a really good show on Netflix. There's two seasons, I'm only on episode like four. <laughs> So maybe it's really bad, but I just started it and I love it. And honestly, I've been feeling empty on the inside because I haven't had a consistent show to look forward to. Me and Matt are on an American Horror Story kick, but I still need shows to watch on my own when Matt's not here because TV is my life and I just haven't had that go-to show. And now that I found Virgin River, I feel like we're on the right track again. You know, 2020 is turning around. Now I'm going to put the lighter color in the inner corner. And while we're talking about TV, have you guys seen A Teacher on Hulu? Cause I, I love that show. <laughs> There's only six episodes right now. It's annoying. You have to wait every Tuesday for it to release. 
so you can't binge it. It is, it's a drama. It's about a teacher and a student relationship. And it's really kind of disturbing, but I look forward to that show every Tuesday, so I highly recommend. And another one that's new is Big Sky. It's like a thriller show. It's on Hulu, but it's also on Real TV, which is where I watch it. And it's also released every Tuesday. So Tuesday is a big TV show. I mean, we have The Bachelorette, we have Big Sky, and we have a teacher. So I'm gonna put on this mascara and then I'll be right back. So when I was putting on my mascara, which was L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and this is just a shitty pencil from like L'Oreal or something that I use. In my eyebrows, I just fill them in briefly, but I remembered, I forgot to tell you guys, or I haven't told you yet, I'm using Latisse for my eyelashes. I feel like they've gotten thinner through the years and like shorter, so I'm trying to fix that. I've been using it for maybe like a month and a half, and I do notice a difference already. And I especially notice a difference on my eyebrows because I put like, whenever I use my brush to put it on, I put the remainder in my eyebrows and I feel like my brows are already so much thicker. But I am recording a video on my Latisse journey, which will be up on my channel probably in like a few months. I'm gonna show the full journey before and after, give you all the tea. I was concerned I was gonna change my eye color, but so far so good. And then I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs eyeliner on the inner corner. Back to TV, now that Claire's gone, I'm loving The Bachelor. <laughs> I like a lot of the guys. I love Ben, I like Ivan, and I like Zach. Also, I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury finishing powder. I like to brighten up my eyes a little bit more sometimes, carve out my Nas thing, but I'm loving the guys on that season, or on this season, love The Bachelor. It's like my favorite show. And now I'm going to brighten things up even more and use a finishing powder in here just to add some extra glow to my face. And then after this, I have highlighter and I'm complete. I will be linking everything I use in the description bar below if for some reason, if you wanna know what I use. Also my face isn't moving because I got Botox. <laughs> my life. But I will link everything in the description below if you're wondering. So now I'm going to use my Becca highlight. Highlight the fudge. One last thing I wanna ask you guys. This is probably gonna be a complete fail, but I wanna do a Q&A on my channel and I don't have the platform to ask on my Instagram. So I'm gonna ask you guys here and see if anyone asks any questions. If you have any questions, please list them in the comments below. And if I get enough questions, or even maybe one question, <laughs> I'll do a Q&A video because I really have been wanting to do one, but it's like who's gonna ask me questions? So if you have any, please put them in the description below and I will do a Q&A video for you guys. I just had to go through and delete some more pictures off my camera so I could record and it made me miss Vermont so much. It's like the perfect fall town ever. So cute and I miss it. Highly recommend Vermont during the fall time. I'm putting on this Tower 28 lip gloss. It's like the perfect brown nude lip gloss for this time of year and I love it. But here is the finished look. Also, I got my hair lighter. Can you tell it's a little bit blonder? I'm getting blonder and blonder. I mean, I don't wanna get too blonde, but I'm going gradually. It's hard to get the color out of my hair because I've went so many colors in my life. We're still getting, we're going through the red that I had last year. So this is what we're looking like so far. I really like it. But here is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you made it all the way through or if you didn't and somehow you know I'm saying this at the end. Please make sure to like and subscribe and come back next Wednesday. I post videos every Wednesday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so you guys know where to find me and I will see you then. And don't forget to put Q&A questions in the description. Okay, thanks. <laughs> peace out, bye haters, peace.